Hey everybody, welcome back to Monster Madness. We are moving right along to the quarterfinals. And because it got a little testy around the office, we decided that we should probably bring in a special guest judge. So, screenwriter Michael Perry, writer of Paranormal Activity 2, is going to be sitting in on our debates from here on out to decide who wins and who loses. Let's check it out. All right, so uh, Cthulhu for talking. Uh, and Cthulhu sleeps. As I talked about last time, Cthulhu's a dormant monster. Cthulhu sleeps, but if he ever wakes up, he's going to devour the entire world, all the souls in it, and then the entire universe, and then the entire macroverse. Uh, the only thing that could possibly stop him is Azatoth, who lives in the center of the universe. Cthulhu's reach and breadth of his, uh, his sort of grasp on the world comes from his sleeping dormant nature. Uh, as he is sleeping and dormant, he is causing all madness and all evil and all insanity of mankind. He's responsible for the Necronomicon, which we all know the evil that that has wrought. We're talking about The Thing versus Cthulhu, which is actually pretty fantastic because both of them are 1930s horror literature uh, creatures. Uh, the Cthulhu came out first, um, uh, and The Thing came out after Mountains of Madness. Mountains of Madness also takes place in Antarctica, featuring uh, Cthulhu's brother Yogg Shagoth. Uh, and there's a lot of similarities between the books, so it might be said that the thing is just a ripoff of Yogg Shagoth. Uh, and one of the things that's fun about this is another guy about the 1960s started claiming that Aleister Crowley said that there was a psychic connection between him and H.P. Lovecraft. And now in the occult world, Cthulhu is actually worshipped. This is an actual god worshipped by religions that are recognized under the United States government. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how he's going to beat the thing is the thing is killed by fire, right? Yeah, so Cthulhu's got cultists all over the world. He can just fabricate cultists. So he just sends wave after wave of his own cultists setting themselves on fire. Burning the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if the thing were here, Right here, right now, we would never know. It could kill anyone and everyone in this room before we had any idea what was going on. It could be inside of a person, it could be inside of a dog, and we might not even know. It can jump species, we don't know what else it can jump, guys. Look, it hides, it can take over animals. It's from space! The same place that this thing is sleeping? It's sleeping! <laughs> yeah, if it wakes up, we're doomed. It hasn't woken up so far, because we're all here. It's a parasite. It lives by infiltration. It, its sole modus operandi is survival. Sending cultists after it? It can live inside of cultists. It could defeat a whole pack of cultists, because before they know what's going on, the thing has taken them all down, and it has done it by putting huge jaws in some guy's stomach that's biting somebody's arms off, or it's building a spaceship just out entirely, and everyone else is killing themselves thinking the thing is inside them. That is the thing's main weapon, mistrust. I don't know which of you is the thing, but I'm hoping it's you because you'll vote for it. Uh, bullets don't kill it. Yeah, fire kills it. But you know what? It's pretty easy to stay away from fire. I've done a pretty good job of it my whole life. <laughs> Uh, I think you all have too. Maybe we burn ourselves on the stove. That's no big deal. I mean, who's to say the thing couldn't live inside of Cthulhu? We don't know because it's only known as the thing. <laughs> okay. He's got nine seconds. Nine seconds. Uh, well, I'll pick up my nest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everything you just said, Cthulhu, don't give a because <laughs> Cthulhu does not give a sh**. He's just gonna, like, he knows what's going on. If he knows the thing's encroaching on his territory, he's just gonna wake up, he's just gonna do it, and then devour everything. Also, the thing is corporeal, whereas Cthulhu is sort of this interdimensional thing, not really corporeal. Uh, the thing also has a mind that Cthulhu can immediately take over and just drive into whatever the thing's Nine. madness would be. <laughs> I have more, sure. but I won't. So you're gonna argue it was not huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Phenomenal arguments spanning the original literature, religion, modern day, both movies, the short story, and 
an assertion that one was ripped off from the other, which uh, or, or from another work by the same author. Uh, and so it's a hard one to call, but I'm going with the thing in this in this case uh, because I do think that the the thing could be right here, and I don't want to upset it. And also, <laughs> the so thing fear could it, is motivating. Fear is motivating this, but I also think the argument was better made for the uh, overall abilities of the thing and its its ability to inspire terror, and pointing out that Shavulu is sleeping, uh, kind of. Just the final, final straw in the case. But I thought they were both excellent arguments. Thank you. But we're going with the thing. So the thing shows up just in time to take down Cthulhu like a cultist setting himself on fire. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Check out the links in the description. Come back tomorrow for more Monster Madness and more Cinefix.